Hey guys, so... Hey guys, so um, my voice is a little, still a little scratchy, a little bit. I thought it would be better by now. I thought it was going to be better about four days ago, but you know, just bear with me. And also, they're doing construction literally right outside my window. So close that um, this whole building that I'm in right now is going to be torn down soon. <laughs> so yeah, my whole entire building is some big construction site. Today's video is going to be about this hair that I'm wearing and I'm loving by Mercy Hair Extension. This hair is the Mongolian kinky curly hair. This texture is 3B3C. And, um, I thought it was going to match my hair texture and it actually does. Um, yeah, these curls are mine. So it blends perfectly. The color is really perfect. I just love this hair so much. Like, And I'm wearing two bundles and a closure. One 20 inch bundle and one 18 inch bundle. And um, and a closure, yeah. Which I bleach, then I, and, you know, it's all cute or whatever. <laughs> but first thing we're gonna talk about is the customer service. The people were so nice. They responded quickly. It's really simple and easy to communicate. Um, it wasn't difficult at all to talk to them. And um, the texture of the hair, I actually really do like this hair. The shedding, so for the shedding, I would give it a um, 7 out of 10. It's just as much shedding as I would expect from curly hair, you know, because just because it gets tangled quite a bit. I had this hair in for three weeks, almost four weeks now, I think. So the shedding is actually not that bad but there is some type of shedding going on not so much that it's like noticeable but yeah and the hair is so thick and full it's a little wet right now so it's not as big as it usually is and i also cut quite a bit of it off so this hair the 20 inch was a lot longer the hair is quite manageable but it takes water very easily and it detangles once it's wet very easily too. How I style my hair is I wrap it up at night and in the morning I just um, wet the hair like a lot kind of. Like I, I do it over the sink. I don't even use a spray bottle. Just like putting water in my hair and then I use the Eco Style Gel Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil. And I just run that through the hair. And then I take a blow dryer and just blow dry it. It really takes me, you know, less than 10 minutes. If you want to talk about price, um, this hair is not, I wouldn't say it's really affordable. Not for me, especially being a college student. But I feel like it's really worth the hair, you know? People talk to me all the time, oh, I love your hair. Is that your real hair? And it's like, and I'm like, girl, how can I grow 10 inches overnight? But... If I was wearing, you know, 20 inches of Brazilian straight hair, no one would be asking me if it's my real hair. Like, another reason why I really like this hair is because it's so close to my hair. I feel like I have a better understanding of how to take care of it. And there's um, no, really no damage to my own hair because I'm not straightening the leave out. I'm not, um you know really doing much to my own hair and I'm still putting the products that I would usually put and you know at night I go through the tracks and put um, black castor oil you know just to have a little growth going on underneath there <laughs> yeah it's like one of the things I really do like about this hair is so natural looking it's so natural feeling and I feel like anybody would just really fall in love with it like I fell in love with it the closure, I feel like the closure, the texture was just like a little bit looser than the rest of the hair, but I feel like all closures that I've ever seen, the texture is a little bit looser. It really doesn't bother me that much. The only thing is that like the bang pieces are the closure and it's a, it gets a little loose, especially when I wrap that part up. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's no problem really at all. So I still have one 
bundle left this is the 16 inch i believe and it came like these bundles are super thick really and the hair is super soft super soft it's good quality hair it really is so that's why the price i would expect the price range to be something like this because it's such good quality hair i'm a big advocate for you know you get what you pay for if you want to pay five dollars for some really cheap you know some cheap bundles you're not going to get the same quality as if you pay 150 dollars something like that it's just you know um it, that is really just how it is you know it takes more money to create a quality product than it does to create a cheap product that's why you get what you pay for and I really do believe that it doesn't work in all cases but in this case I really do believe that and I mean like where else could you find some curly hair that looks this good as far as heat goes um, the farthest I've ever put heat in it is through the blow dryer I don't put it on a cool setting and that's still worse it's not much heat i haven't tried to straighten the hair just because i don't want to um i don't want to wear straight hair <laughs> as you can see my hair is almost completely dry and it's really not that like it really doesn't get tangled like that at the end of the day it does get you know big <laughs> but um but it doesn't get much bigger than this like it, it really is already kind of big. <laughs> you know, it's gonna get more tangled than straight hair just naturally. Yeah, we're just gonna do a little close up on the hair. As you can see, it's real um, natural looking. Everything looks fine. I could really see where people believe this is my real hair. <laughs> I give this hair two thumbs up <laughs> again this hair is from mercy hair extensions um this is mongolian kinky curly hair 3b 3c a 20 inch bundle and 18 inch bundle and a closure so to close out i just want to thank everybody for subscribing you know we really making movements out here <laughs> But um, thank you for subscribing. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on all my social media. I really do the most interaction on social media, like especially Snapchat, um, Instagram. Yeah, I don't. I have a Twitter, but I'm not really active. I don't really do anything <laughs> on Twitter. But still follow me. And it's like it's hard for me to get into Twitter. <laughs> Like, I keep trying, but it just never works. So, if you hit me up on Twitter, I will definitely see it. Like, thanks for watching my video. And I'll put the link to here below. And bye, guys.